What's happening in foreign America? It's your history tutor, Thrasy. Can you teach your dumb ass about American history? The Street Boy. Learn with Thrash City. The Black Cops squeeze the doors! Damn, informed America. Yeah, I know I've been MIA for a hot minute, but your boy's been going through some changes. I moved. I'm finna move again. I got a new job. I'm on track to get another new job soon. But enough about me. What's been good with you? What's good in your hood? You know your teacher, Miss Brenda? Oh, yeah, I remember her. She was dumb thick with two C's. What, you got her number? She's dead! Damn, word! Died a horrible, painful death! Damn! Gone, 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 just like your dog! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't got no dog. The neighbor got a dog. You fucked they dog up? I just ran him over with the car when I drove in. Oh, nah, bro. You gotta go. Anyways, we gonna pick up what we left off with. Three months ago, with the boy. The brother from another mother, Juan Garrido. Hold up real quick, Juan. You know, I'm really happy for you, and I'm going to let you finish, but I got to holler at the people real quick. All right, before we get started, I'm going to need all 154 of y'all. Do me a favor. Pause the video. Go over and share that joint. Don't worry, I'll wait. Thanks, G. As I was saying, Juan Garrido. It's widely believed that black people started their history in America as slaves, but there are other roles that they filled besides just that. That's the role of the conquistador. Wherever the Spanish conquistador stepped foot, they were accompanied in some way by black conquistadors. Now, before we continue on with this video, I wanted to address one of the comments I got in the last videos about the conquistadors. We got something from Fancyful Devices, who says, awesome video. Just to note, you don't pronounce the U in conquistador. It's just like when you say queso dip or que. It's just conquistador. Thanks for the input, my dude. But conquistador, conquistador, luchador in the corridor at your front door. Either way you look at it, you learn it. Anyways. Juan Garrido was born in West Africa sometime between 1480 and 1487. But his name wasn't originally Juan. Some speculate that he was the son of a West African king who went to Portugal for trade. It's believed by some that he was left there by his African dad to become a commercial liaison between the Africans and the Portuguese. He was to learn their language, their education, and their religion. Others believe he was just straight up a slave that ended up in Portugal. He went on his first voyage to Santo Domingo as a servant, became a full-fledged Christian, and with that said, he gained the name Juan. He then inherited the last name Garrido after his master, Pedro Garrido. So in 1502 or 1503, Juan Garrido was one of the first free black men to arrive in the Americas. In 1508, he participated in conquering Puerto Rico with Ponce de Leon. In 1512, helped Diego Vasquez conquer Cuba. And in 1519, he helped Hernan Cortes conquer the land of Tenochtitlan. I said that right this time. I, I know I got it right this time. I promise I did. Technotelan. Technotitlan. In established Mexico. So my boy is certified. He's been through three different battles, three different countries, with three different top-tier conquistadors. You can't say my boy ain't no soldier. In 1523, he planted the first wheat seeds to grow in New Spain. And in 1524, homeboy was finally granted a house, and he became the guardian and doorkeeper of Mexico City. In 1528 and 1533, he led slave-driven gold mining expeditions. But most notably, in September 27, 1538, Homeboy submitted his probanza, which is his proof of merit, telling the king everything that he's done and why he should be a citizen. And finally, in 1547, he dies in Mexico City, leaving behind three baby kids and a baddie with a fatty, or a mistress, or Little Miss Thickness, or as I like to call it, Little Miss Thickness. But that's pretty much the story of Juan Garrido. One of the many black men who helped the Spanish conquer the nation.
natives in establishing Spain. There are also a bunch of other free black conquistadors who helped the Spanish conquer the French. The French? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Who helped the Spanish conquer the French? The French? Go ahead, look them up and see how significant they are because I ain't had time. I gotta get back to work. Little side note for my viewers. I know I ain't been uploading in a while. Your boy's got a lot going on. You know, I ain't dead or nothing. But um, if you could do me a favor, share this joint, like this joint. I'm trying to go to a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Your boy trying to get a little, little subscriber base. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna start putting the resources, my citations, on the end of the video. So they're gonna be in the description, on the website, and in the video. So. Yeah. That's it for this session of Learn with Thrash City, the Black Conquistadors. Stay up Stainless and skill keep piece. right. This man over talking about. You don't say conquista, you say conquista. Man, conquista, conquista, Sharkeisha, boy, I don't care.